Hi, in this video we are going to introduce comparison operators. Comparison operators let us compare two values. So let's look at an example of that. Here I declare a variable x with the value 15 and a variable y with the value 10. And then I write the line var z equals x greater than y. And what, and z will now be assigned a value true because x, which is 15, is greater than y, which is 10. So if we look, we have six comparison operators that we'll be using. Uh, one is equal, uh, and we have two equal signs. One is not equal, and we have an exclamation point and then an equal sign. We can test less than using the less than uh, character, greater than, and then less than or equal, or greater than or equal. So. For example, if we want to see if someone is old enough to go into a bar, we can read in an int and see uh, if that age is greater than or equal to 21. So let's write that up in our editor. Age equals read int, what is your age? And then we say old enough equals age is greater than or equal to 21. Then we'll print line can enter plus old enough. So let's run that. If we say our age is um, 25, then we can enter the bar. That's true. But if we run and we say our age is 19, then we can't enter the bar. Let's look at another example. Here, we'll read an integer from the user, uh, which is their grade, so what percentage they got. And what we want to figure out is whether they were in the B range. And they're in the B range if their grade was greater than or equal to 80 and the grade was less than 90. You can't combine um, the comparison operators. You can only have two, uh, one uh, value on the left and one value on the right. So let's write that one up. Grade equals readint. What was your grade? Then we'll say got B is whether the grade is greater than um, or equal to 80 and the grade is less than 90. Print line got a B, got B. So let's see, if we got an 82, then we did get a B. Um, but if we got, let's say, a 75, then getting a B would be false. 